So the Hate is easily one of my favorite sites in the entire game, and it's strong when it comes to its stats. It has a high crit chance at about 30%, with a uh, crit multiplier at about 2.5. It also has a high attack range at 2.8 meters, and overall its damage is 230. But obviously, uh, what is its downsides? Well, it has very slow attack speed, and if you compare it to stuff like Reaper or Cost Assist, it kind of lacks in some stats, but as you can tell, unmodded, with just the Incarnon active, this weapon can kill. But obviously, how do you make this weapon even stronger than it already is? Well, let's go ahead and cover those evolutions, which make it even more of a threat to use. So, like I said, let's go ahead and cover the evolutions. Evolution 1 just unlocks the, uh, well, the Incarnon, but it also gives 100 melee, 100% melee damage, 20% sprint speed, and 20% parkour velocity, but also throws out explosive blades, all neutral and forward combos. Next up is Evolution 2. Evolution 2 gives you Swordsman Flourish and Stalker's Legacy. Swordsman Flourish will give you plus 3rd damage, but when the melee weapon is equipped, plus 100% combo count chance. Stalker's Legacy will give you also plus 30 fly damage, but also give you plus 30 initial combo when you're using Dread and Despair. With these two evolutions, they are both quite alright, they're good options, but I personally prefer Perk 1 over Perk 2 because I don't often run Dread and Despair on top of the Hate. Next up is Evolution 3. When it comes to Evolution 3, you get Auric and Reach, Swift Break, and Resolute Force. Uh, Oric and Reach gives you plus 0.8 range, Swift Break will give you 60% uh, heavy attack wind-up speed, and Resolute Force will give you plus 10 seconds of combo duration. When it comes to these, all of these are okay. I don't personally think Resolute Force is that uh, good of an option, but Oric and Reach and Swift Break are perfectly fine options. Pick either of the two. I'm going with Oric and Reach. Finally, with Evolution 4, you get three options. You get Absolute Valor, Absolute Dominion, and Subtle Force. Absolute Valor will give you plus 10% crit chance, Dominion will give you plus 30% status, and Subtle Force will give you plus 6% crit chance and 10% status. With Evolution 4, basically all these are fine options. They're all perfectly fine to pick. But in my opinion, Perk 3 gives the best overall spread across both stats because while 20% status is nice, the weapon is not innately a status weapon at just 20. But it is a crit weapon, but obviously it already has high crit, so you might as well go with having some extra status and extra crit so you can benefit more from things like uh, additional overload. Those are just the evolutions. How should you build the weapon? So let's cover the builds I've made. So like I said, we have two builds, but obviously one of these can change. I'll more than likely change this one, but I have a video on it, so make sure y'all watch it. Let's cover Viral and Electricity. Basically with this build, what I've done is I built Blood Rush with Sacrifice Steel, a Magma Organ Shatter, and Conditional Overload. We have Viral, Electricity, and then Berserker's Fury for the attack speed. Melee Influence is here to help spread the status effects we get from well, Viral. Dreamer's Wrath is to help you get a free heavy attack so you can proc your Incarnome for free. And to add that little bit of extra crit damage whenever you hit your melee. But obviously, how does it well fare against Steel Path enemies? Well, once you start getting the ball rolling and get your Berserker's Fury active, you'll attack faster, you'll get your free Tenekai. And once your well, Incarnon's active, you hit it, and then you just keep snowballing. But obviously, uh, we have another build, so let's go ahead and show off that one, even though I do have a video on it, make sure y'all watch it. So what is the other build? Well, the other build is a Volt and a Shock Trooper build. Basically, uh, I have made changes, obviously, if I wanted, I'd put another form in, change this with this. But obviously, this build is going around using Viral, Shock Trooper, and still using Melee Influence. It pox Shock Trooper, and then you just get your speed boost and go crazy. Get your Incarnon, and then just keep going. Obviously, the extra range... Well, that was fast. You don't need the extra range. Change out whatever mods you would like. What if you were fighting Corpus? I'll make that build real quick, and I'll show that off. But obviously, what if you were fighting the Corpus? Well, the build I'm going with is a Magnetic Toxin build. The reason I'm going with Magnetic is for Melee Vortex to suck in the enemies, because this is quite nice to actually just have them all get yanked in and get staggered. It's roughly the same build as we've been using for the other ones, just with Magnetic and Toxin. But obviously, once we get the Incarnon procced, uh, like we had said before, the projectile we get has innate uh, heat benefits. Wow, my luck is bad. There we go. As you'll see, there's gas procs in there, which just help a little bit more. The reason that's happening is this project... All right, I'm doing a little bit of a voiceover here because I kind of made a big mistake during one section of my thing. So basically what I'm trying to state in this area while I'm attacking the wall, the melee itself of the hate will apply impact puncture slash toxin magnetic, but the projectile mixes the heat 
in the toxin to produce gas. So the projectile of the hate is now going to be doing IPS, magnetic, and gas. I'm going to get a build set up and we'll go to Steel Path and test how the build works overall. And here we are inside of Steel Path. So obviously I'm just trying to get a little bit of energy. God, I fear for how laggy my game is going to get because of how many enemies there were just then. <laughs> Spreading viral. But as you can tell, uh, this... Okay, that's an interesting bug. Interesting. As you can tell, this weapon does not struggle at all when it comes to getting kills. Like, I see no problems currently. And now, with, on top of, if we quickly pause and look at my abilities, on top of it, if I add just... Rave Spirit, I'll get 137% crit damage on top of everything I'm currently doing, so it's going to go even harder than what you currently see. But obviously, I need to just progress further on, so I will be back after a couple uh, couple minutes have passed. All right, so after a while, the uh, Acolyte has finally spawned, so we're going to get Malice. But before we actually fight Malice, I do want to show this off. I have maxed out my Mold Augmented, so as you can see now, my Doom Crit chance is, well, uh, 157. I mean, damage, sorry, and... 314. So it's really strong. So we're going to go ahead and proc that now. So honestly, how does it handle against an acolyte? Where is the acolyte? Oh, there they are. Oh, they have the opticore. We got to hurry with them or they will kill us. That didn't struggle at all. But obviously, this is just like one rotation of it. So I'm going to go for another rotation and fight the next acolyte and I'll show you all how it handles against a higher two acolyte. All right, it's been some time and we got another. Oh, okay. Well, it's been some time and we got another Acolyte, so how does this handle? Well, quite well, to be honest with you. We had no issues there, killed it quite quickly. Uh, I'll go ahead and head back to my Orbiter and give you all my final thoughts on what I think about uh, the Hate. So, what do I think about the Hate in the Tincarnon? Well, to be honest with you, it's actually a really good Incarnon. And to be honest with you, I think it may be the best melee Incarnon they have. I think it's really strong, it's quite powerful, it does the job for what you need, and as you saw, it, I really didn't struggle until around whenever I suddenly started just exploding, just suddenly, but the weapon overall is quite nice. I do not like that it's rather slow, but obviously you can change that by using some arcanes, mods, abilities, etc. Stuff like that. Things that can just change the fact that it shoots, shoots, attacks a little slow. Obviously this is higher due to uh, attack speed later on, but it's quite slow compared to things like the Reaper at 1.8 and the uh, cost assist at exactly one. But the cost assist status, the Reaper is just slightly uh, better than the uh, hate. But the hate overall has the Incarnon, which makes it better. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you do get some understanding on how this weapon works better now, thanks to this video. And uh, there should be another Incarnon video coming soon. As you see, there's a new Incarnon on this page that I really don't want to talk about. But obviously, I will get to it eventually. So, on that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.